Artemisia Gentileschi, also known as Artemisia Lomi, was an Italian Baroque painter born in Rome in 1593 who passed away in 1653. She started producing professional paintings at the young age of 15. Artemisia Gentileschi was a versatile artist who worked in the style of Caravaggio. She was known for her depictions of women from myths, allegories, and the Bible, including women who were victims, suicides, and warriors. Gentileschi was also the first woman to become a member of the Accademia di Arte del Desegno in Florence. Her art style is often associated with realism, naturalism, and the classical Baroque period. Despite experiencing a traumatic event in her youth and enduring subsequent torture, Gentileschi's work has been re-evaluated and she is now recognized as a pioneering and expressive painter of her generation. Major exhibitions of her work at prestigious institutions such as the National Gallery in London demonstrate the appreciation of her remarkable talent and contribution to the art world. Artemisia Gentileschi was born in Rome in 1593, although some records indicate 1590. She was the oldest child of the Tuscan painter Orazio Gentileschi and Prudenzia di Ottaviano Montoni. Orazio's painting was heavily influenced by Caravaggio's innovations, with realistic drama becoming a hallmark of his work. Artemisia was introduced to painting in her father's workshop and showed more enthusiasm and talent than her brothers. She developed her skills and approach to naturalistic subject matter, gaining great respect and recognition. Her earliest surviving work, completed at 17, is Susanna and the Elders. In 1611, Artemisia's life took a tragic turn when she was raped by Agostino Tassi, with the help of another man. She was pressured into a sexual relationship with Tassi, but he reneged on his promise to marry her, and her father pressed charges against him. During the highly publicized trial, it was discovered that Tassi had also planned to murder his wife, committed adultery with his sister-in-law, and planned to steal some of Orazio's paintings. Tassi was exiled from Rome, but Artemisia was tortured with thumbscrews. She later painted Mother and Child, which has been interpreted as an indirect reference to Tassi. After the trial, Artemisia's father arranged a marriage to Pier Antonio Stiatisi, and the couple moved to Florence, where she became a successful court painter, enjoying the patronage of the House of Medici. Her career thrived in Florence, and she played a significant role in the cultural life of the city. Her painting style continued to develop, and her work gained a reputation for its highly naturalistic approach. Some of her well-known works include Judith beheading Holofernes and self-portrait as the allegory of painting. In conclusion, Artemisia Gentileschi was a groundbreaking Italian Baroque painter who defied the limitations imposed on women in the art world during her time. Her ability to depict women from various perspectives, including victims, warriors, and mythological figures, showcased her versatility in artistic prowess. Despite facing personal trauma and enduring a highly publicized trial, Gentileschi's skill as a painter could not be denied. She gained recognition as the first woman to join the Accademia di Arte del Desegno in her art style, with its realism and naturalism, left a lasting impact on the Baroque period. Gentileschi's remarkable talent and contribution to the art world have been celebrated through major exhibitions at renowned institutions such as the National Gallery in London. Through her powerful and expressive paintings, she continues to be revered as a pioneer and influential figure in art history.